hello, I'm back and I am doing another unboxing. This is actually from Julep and I've never received a box from Julep before so I'm pretty excited about this. I think this was one of their like summer ones that were on like sale that I ordered. I don't know. I'm not a subscriber of theirs but um, I did order one of the boxes because it was like on sale. So it came in this brown box. So I got my trusty little knife. We're just going to open this sucker up and see what's inside. I'm guessing there's another box inside of this box because I know that the julep boxes as I've seen like on YouTube come in like purple boxes or something. But it actually looks like there's stuff in here. So it looks like I got three polishes on the outside which I'll show you in a bit. And then it looks like I have a box right here. And I think that's it. The rest is paper. So here's the julep box. And it's actually black. So... I'm used to like seeing purple come through like my apartment complex, but okay. So on this, it just tells you, oh, this was what it was. Um, I got the hundred degrees of mystery and then the hundred degrees of mystery add on. I paid like $24.99 for the hundred degrees of mystery and then a $9.99. No, I got the add on for free because I had like a promo code or something. So that's just my packing slip. So I'm guessing this is the add on three polishes so let's go ahead and look at these I actually don't own any julep polishes so pretty excited to see these um, it looks like this one and these are called julep color treats it says the strengthening the strengthening power of hexanol even color distribution and superior coverage oxygen technology that lets nails breathe and antioxidants from pure green coffee extract that's pretty interesting okay so this is in the color Fiore it Oh, this is from It Girl. I know that they have different kind of like names. So this is from the It Girl collection and this is called Fiore. And it's this really pretty deep purple. Now, I don't think I have anything like this. It's kind of like a grayish purple, in fact. I wanna see what their wands look like. Well, their wands are actually pretty skinny and long. But yeah, that's a really deep purple. It has like no shimmer whatsoever. So it looks like it's matte which is awesome. Um, the next one is f called Alma, and this is the Fall 2012 collection. It says Trina Turk on the bottom. I'm not familiar with any of these collections, just to let you know. This is a really pretty, um, kind of like a yellow gold. It's like a kind of like a deeper yellow goldish color. Really, really, really pretty. Yeah, it's like a, a gold, a yellow gold. Pretty, pretty. Don't have anything like that, actually. And then my last one, this is really, really pretty. This is from, let's see. Open it up. So this one is called Nan, and this is also from the It Girl collection. It's this really pretty pink coral. It's almost the same color as my knife, actually. Really weird, okay. Um, let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh yeah. This one is definitely one of my favorites by far right now. I love coral pinks. I think that they complement my skin really, really well and I just, I love wearing them. They go with everything. So I'm guessing this is the mystery add-on. So I got three polishes and now let's look at the box. So this is the 100 Degrees of Mystery box, so. Again, I've never ordered for them. I've never tried their products, so let's see what these are. So I have some green tea facial blotting papers, and there's 40 sheets in here. Wow. It just looks like this. Let's see. I actually just went tanning, so probably pretty oily right now, so let's try one. So they're, they just look like green papers. You know, I'm not usually a big fan of blotting papers just because of the sole fact that you go through them like crazy. I don't understand the point of them. But this is what they look like. They're just green paper with like little dark green flecks. So let's... Oh, I'm using two. Uh-oh. Let's blot. It's probably going to be pretty gross. But like I get really oily around my chin. Especially since I just got done tanning. And my nose. So let's, let's check this out. I know my forehead gets really, really oily too, and I hate it. Maybe these are good to use throughout the day. Like, I've never actually, like, tried to use them because I didn't, like I said, I've never really seen a point of it. But, yeah, that's pretty bad. 
I had a lot of oil. That's actually pretty gross. But it looks like it works because it, I don't see any oil on my face anymore. So how awesome is that? So that's, those are actually pretty cool. I think I might actually like those. Okay, so the next thing I see is Julep Ink Gel Eyeliner. And this is in jet black, which is awesome. So this is the packaging right here. I love jet black anything. So give me some uh, gel liner that's jet black. I'll take it. It's in this little cute little bottle. And it's a little sweaty because it's been in my car for like the past 15 minutes. But it, it is completely black. That's pretty awesome. So I'm excited to use that. I kind of strayed away from gel liner, but I'm going to get back into it. I know I will. I always revert back to it. Um, the next thing I see are... <gasps> Ooh! This is really, really cool. So what I use are um, nail circles. You know those circles? The nail circles and then you put polish on them. These ones are the kind that you find at the nail salon. The ones that actually you can display like this. This is really, really interesting. Um, I actually like these a lot better than the circles. So you you put your co your color polish on here, and then you just display them like that. So this will probably be for all my julep polishes that I'll be collecting because more than likely I'll probably end up ordering from them. But I don't know. I think I already have like eight polishes from them because I see five more in here. So let's just pull those five out. So I got two polishes in this little get up. So let's pull these out. I wonder if this is how all their polishes are packaged. Okay, so this is from Boho Glam, and this is Faye. Oh, and you can actually swatch them on the top. Nope. Look, you can actually swatch them on the top. How cool. On the Tina Turk one, the, the yellow gold one, it doesn't have it, but this one's pretty. This one's like a, kind of like a holographic or duochrome or something. Um, gold brown really really cute bronzy gold how pretty question is <laughs> how are you supposed to swatch the top of the lid if you can't get your brush up there is that a good question or is that just a dumb question like i don't understand how you're supposed to swatch the top how are you supposed to swatch that if the lid is right there unless it comes off it looks like it can come off, but anyway, I'm not going to go into detail. Okay, so the next one is also, let's come in this little package. And this one is Hannah from Boho Glam. And this is like a light um, boho green. It's really, really pretty. Um, I don't own any, I don't own any of these colors. So this is really fabulous. Really, really pretty pastel green. It's kind of like a poopy color green, but not quite. I actually enjoy this color. And then the last thing I got in my mystery box is a three more polishes, which a girl can never go wrong with polishes, especially if they're already addicted to them like I am. So these three are so gorgeous. I'm so excited for this one just because I see my favorite color and it's actually the perfect color. Let's open that one first. So this one, which I um, am falling in love with right now just by looking at it, is this super bright yellow called Dawn. It's from the It Girl collection or the It Girl area. And this is, is just super pretty bright yellow. And I actually don't own any bright yellows. Yellow is my favorite color ever, but I actually don't own anything yellow. So there you go. Um, the next one is, it looks like it might be from another. This is from American Beauty. And this is called Amy. And it's this really, really pretty blue. It's kind of like a darker teal blue. Again, has no shimmer. I think I've only gotten one that has shimmer in it. This is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of China Glaze's Sky High Top. Really pretty, except probably not as bright as that. And then the last thing that I got in this box, which I'm pretty sad about, <laughs> but I did get a lot of great things. The last thing is called Maya, and this is classic with a twist. And this is kind of like a champagne pink, which I actually own something from Nail Teeny kind of like this, except I think the Nail Teeny color is just a tad bit darker. So this is perfect. I love colors like this. They are just so classic. So beautiful. I love everything that I got and I just got eight new polishes for $24.99 plus a few other things. So I can't go wrong with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye.